And now, from the Channel Airport Sports Studio, it's that time once again for your favorite sports series full of action, surprises, and a whole lot of racing fun. This is Channel Racing 2020, Week 11's action, and the official return of Season 66. And hello to everyone watching at home. My name is Brad Jennings, and I'm your fabulous host for another edition of Channel Racing 2020. And with me, as always, is my good announcer, Paul Sycamore. Feel free to grab a seat on your couch and cheer on all your favorite superstars. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to get notified on our Channel Racing videos and all of our pre-rated content. And we'll see how this week one fall as we present a word from our sponsor. Do not go away! Channel Racing 2020 is brought to you by Wendy's, where quality is our recipe. So, now that we're all warmed up and ready to go, it's time for Week 11's action here on Channel Racing 2020. Let's present our 12 men's division races first. And Brandon, for our first race of the, of the day, we have Rich Jennings, Frank Fernandaro, Orlando Alvesta, and Steven Robinson. All of our races will be held on the air course as we usually do each and every week of the season. And it's good luck to the first four superstars on a continuing quest for victory. Everyone is on the clock, and please start the race! And Frank Fernandaro is going to rest. That means Rich Jennings, Orlando Armester, and Steven Robinson will have the opening edge. And I think Steve Robinson was pausing for more than yep. So it's going to be Rich Jennings or Orlando Investor who's going to be fighting for the lead up in the front. Rich Jennings and Orlando Investor are going to eat the food. And there goes Rich Jennings, pressing down the line. And he is going to have a command of the lead over Orlando Investor. We'll, we'll see how long his lead will last. As the first episode of Guest Pivots on our season return of Season 66 of Channel 2020 is number 8. And he is going to leave poor number 7 in the dust. Number 2 decides to go to sleep, so he will join number 7 for the life. Now these two super child really need to get to speed bus as number 8 opens his one arm with back to back speed bus. Orlando and Master battling with Mitch Jennings at the bottom of the hill, and Orlando is going to rest as the next speed bus we made by number 1. And guess who else is going to rest? It is Steven Robinson back over at the bridges. So now he will be left behind in the competition. He, he drops the last place behind number 7. We are at the 1 minute mark of this first race of the day. As we head back into number 1. That's 2 in a row by 2 in a row for number 8 and number 1 respectively. All speed marks are consecutive so far. Rich Jennings trying to defend the lead over Orlando and Mesta, making for the checker path on the side fine portion of this lovely Emma course. Orlando and Mesta can quickly catch up to Rich Jennings, and number 8 will get another turn. That makes his first beat bust to the base, and take a look at Steven Robinson. Both he and number 7 are getting left behind. They're both trying to catch up with the crowd in a hurry. One of them has to get speed bus and we want to catch up with the others in a hurry. And that superstar to get that chance will be in number 7's favor. Number 7 got the next speed bus. And right now, Orlando and Rich are both reaching the top of the wall. Which one man will get will prepare right home stretch? We'll soon know. Next PS belongs to Steve Robinson as Frank Fanatar goes to sleep. And I do believe a couple of Stewart Chow are decided to go to rest. Yep. There's one of them, number two, and it looks like number one and number eight are going to rest as well. And here comes Steve Robinson with back to back speed bus, but I don't think he'll make it all the way to first place. And right now, Orlando Ambassador has stealed the lead from Mitch Jennings. Orlando Ambassador now having to push to defend the lead as he makes his way towards the gun line. And as number two takes the next command speed bus, Orlando Ambassador holds on Mitch Jennings for the first win of week 11. Orlando Investor gets a 5 victory, making a pass for Rich Jennings at the home stretch. And Frank Van Atom will get a he'll come in third place. Number 7 has no hope for surviving whatsoever. 
So congratulations, Orlando, our best. Uh, you did very well. Yeah, what's going to happen in race number two? We'll find out in a little bit. Right now, no, let's hear what from this. Paul, let's hear all about race number two now. Race number two of the men's division is the AC Gambler title, folks. Corey Sanchester, the next generation star, Antonio Bennett from the Classic Go Getters, and Danielle Heater. There's the lineup. And we can see the players have finished warming up. They're ready for the sound we all waiting to hear. And they're off. Okay. Millions of fans watching from home are watching our Chow Racing Superstars resuming the 66th season here in the Chow Emperor world. And it's quite a dandy to see all these years passing by. And these four Chow have eaten the coconut fruits. They're going to be battling neck to neck, heading towards the bridges and the Amethyst portion of the of course. And it looks like number two will start with Speedbus this time around. A couple silver child going to rest, including number one. Number one with that rest will drop down to last place. He does not want to be left behind for the competition. No survey. And Speedbus number two is in number seven's favor, but it was a pity that time. Didn't get a lot of it that time. Boy Sanchester trying to defend the lead over Tyler Folks and Daniel Heenan making their way towards the top of the hill. And who will get the next command, Speedbus? It's going to be number one way in the back from last place. Let's see if he'll get some more later on. Oh, Antonio Bennett does not want to be left behind from the competition. We're already passing one minute, Mike. The four child making the way through the sapphire portion of this lovely ammo course. Good strategy so far. And down goes Antonio Bay. And number one gets back to Max Pierce back in the Silver Child Fest. Tyler, Corey, and Danielle making their way towards the wall. They're going to use all of their strength and power to climb up to the top of the wall. Antonio Bennett will join these three child momentarily. And number one with a third consecutive speedbus now takes the lead over the fourth of the child. What a great comeback from behind for number one. He's making a statement here on the early one. Now number seven drops down to last place. And the next speedbus belongs to Tyler Foles as Daniel Heenan takes a sneeze. Daniel Heenan is sleeping, and Tyler Phones from Atlantic City now has got me on the lead. Trying to hold on against Corey Sanchester and Daniel Heenan. He's swimming his way towards home stretch, and number two will get another turn. That makes his second speed rest of the race. According to my calculations, Tyler Phones is indeed our winner! What a performance by Tyler Phones! His game will pay off, and he's up to five victories with that win today. Yes, sir, we, Paul. Our number five win by Tyler Folks. He now jumps to five and six, and we'll have another side race for our Chowers and Universe fans out there after we find out a word from this. Yeah, are you having a good time, staff? I sure am. Let's proceed to race number three. Race number three will feature Chip Sube, Eddie Warriors, Fun of Warriors Brothers, Dallas Damasa Garano, and fan favorite Sonny Brantley. Cue the cameras, dim the lights, and get ready for an exciting chowies because let's have a chowies! And there goes the next four superstars, pushing down the line through the rainbow path. What a fine sunny day it is here in the Chow Emperor Chow Racing Stadium. The track gets pitch and dry. The pitch is perfect. And right now they're going to eat the fruit. And all four Chow are dancing to the beat at the come on. 
That means number one and number two will have the privilege of battle for the lead up in the front. Now here comes our four chow as they make their way towards bridges. And right now number one toss from one. And so is one of our opponents as the first superstar to get beat bus is Sonny Brantley. Now it's Gavado making his way through the water at a combo and trying to maintain some ground. And number one will have speed rush number two. Sonny Brantley was going to sleep. So now he will have to drop down to last place. And number one gets back to back speed bus, catching up to number seven for the lead over the four sewer chow. Here comes down to Master Gavano and Eddie Williams making their way towards the sapphire portion on the end of course. We have passed the one minute mark as Sonny Brentway will get a second speed bus for this race, but he remains in last place behind numbers two and seven. Take a look at number one. He surely enjoying the lead over the force of a child. He currently sits in fourth place behind Chip Sube. And this time Sonny Brantley goes for a consecutive. Dallas and Eddie are going to make their way towards the wall. They're neck and neck, neck and neck as always. And uh, Chip Sube is not too far behind in third place. And number one can say sign out to the fourth switch out. He gets a third speed bus for this race. Sonny Batway trying to catch up with Batway with numbers 2 and 7 all the way in the back pack as they climb up the stone wall. And there goes Eddie Williams with the next command speed Now having a little bit of breathing room ahead of Dallas to Master Gavano as they make their way towards the Ruby portion on the other course. Next PS belongs to number 7. Here comes Chip Simmy at home stretch. And Eddie Williams is going to the finish line. As somebody takes the next PMS, that one went up for Eddie Williams. Oh, and it's really happy with you, Eddie. That's so good. Keep it up. Well done by Eddie Williams. That's going to be followed by Chip Subway in second place. And Sonny Batley will get a fourth PMS. I think that's going to be the last PMS for this race. Yep, this race has come to a close. So congratulations to Eddie Williams on a successful victory. That's right, coming up we'll have more as I answer for you. But first let's have a word from this. Alright, we're just getting started with weekly comments action. Paul, who do we have next? Next up we have Timothy P. Jackson. Michael Creighton, Charles Son Watson, and the crime buster policeman Rusty Williamson from the Tag Team Champion Police Jury. Timothy did very well winning his last race during our fall preview show, and he has been very confident about his victory and skills he has done over the course of the summer. Let's find out how well he will do in this week's race. Everyone is on the clock, and let's rock this place! All right, Timothy, Michael, Charles, and Rusty are up next for our week of Evans action. Trying to entertain the fans at home while they do their work at reaching the playoffs. Hopefully to reach the playoffs and go for a championship this season. The four child are going to eat the food. And here they come. They're going to make their way towards the bridges. And who is going to get the first b bus this time around? It is Timothy P. Jackson. Oh, but he flew over the bridges and back. Rusty Williamson seems like he's heading for the water, that's for sure. And right now, a couple of silver child are going to sleep. Two of them are going to be heading for the water. And number one, who is also going to ask back over at the bridges, will take speed bus number two. And Charles Simon Watson is going to ask. So Rusty Williamson will have a little bit of breathing room for the current point. As Michael Creighton will have the next command speed bus. Right now, Charles Son Watson is battling with Timothy P. Jackson as they fight for second place behind our leader, Rusty Williamson. 
As the next BS we made by number seven. He currently leads on the fourth to each other back. And take a look at poor number eight as we pass the one minute mark. He is gonna join number one who is pausing for a moment. So now number one and number eight we need a lot of catch him to do. And who will get the next command speed bus? It's Michael Creighton that makes his second speed bus of the base. Mussey Williamson trying his best to defend the lead as he begins to climb up the stone wall. Will Charleston Watson find a way to make the pass? We'll find out soon enough. Next BS belongs to number one. That makes it a second speed bus to the base. Timothy P. Jackson better hurry up if he wants to add another win to his fine collection of victories. Almost to the top of the wall. And the next speed bus is going to be made by Norman and Michael Clayton. That makes his best speed bus in the base. Rusty Williamson back in the home stretch. Still trying to wrap things up over Charleston Watson. And as number 8 takes the next BS fine to stay alive in the game. Rusty Williamson is going to get the job done today. Charleston Watson will have enough distance to catch up to Rusty Williamson in time. Rusty Williamson finally ends his losing streak tonight. As number 8 gets back to back speed us. So Rusty Williamson gets his second win of his 2020 season tonight. How about that, Brandon? A number 5 win by Rusty Williamson. That's what to get wins on the board this season. Yep, he beat down Charles on Watson, and he is now 2 and 10, trying to stay alive towards next season. Coming up, we got more exciting action for you, but first, have a look at this. Alright fans, welcome back to Week 11's action here on Chow Racing 2020. It is indeed a sunny day in the Chow Racing Stadium. No crowds in sight or maybe a few white crowds or something. And the temperature is picture perfect for our superstars down on the field. And as a matter of fact, this next race promised to be a red hot affair to pump up for the autumn season. That's right Brandon. This is another rematch from last season's 2020 World Championship main event. And as you can see, the participants for this race are Vicky Nelson, Owen Williams from the Boys Brothers, Zach Orson, and our defending champion Luke Green. Last time in round one, Zach Orson barely beat out Luke Green the whole stretch to secure his best victory and has since a 10 wins as of right now, including the fall preview show victory he has done with good effort and support. So, what's going to happen in round two of this World Championship rematch affair? There's only one way to find out. The players are lined up and ready to go. Everyone is on the clock, and let's have a challenge! Alright, so Zach Orson got the job done in round one. Who is going to get the job done in rematch number two? We'll find out soon enough. Right now on the free channel, I'm going to make the way towards the palm trees. And right now on the four channel, I'm going to shake the palm trees to bring out that coconut sheep fruit. And now I'm going to eat the fruit. And Zach Orson is going to have command of the lead, trying to get his 11th win of his impressive 2020 season he has so far, trying to earn his redemption for 2021 this season. Vicky Nelson not too far behind, Taylor getting him in second place. And Owen Williams will have the only toss for his face. Luke Green is going to be flying towards him. And guess what? He made this race look nice and easy. But uh-oh. Uh-oh. Guess who else made it to the top of the hill? It's Owen Williams of the Williams Buzz. Oh, Luke Green has, has Owen Williams tailgating right on his tail. Watch out, Luke Green. You still got company no matter what. And number one will take speed bus number two in his face. Oh, Zach Orson really wants his 11th win, but he has a long way to go when he wants to catch up to Luke Green and Owen Williams after they both took a shortcut. And let's see what happens here. He is going to get the next command experience as we pass the one minute mark in his face. And look at this. Luke Green is going to mess, so Owen Williams will now have command of the lead. Owen Williams is going to make his way towards the stone wall as the next BS we made by number one. Oh, he needs a lot more help than that, don't you think? Anyway, that makes his second speed bus for his face, and poor Vicky Nelson better hurry up. He wants to get the, get the job done in a hurry. 
Well, anyway, number seven, we'll get into it now. And here comes Owen Warriors making his way past the waterfall. Blue Green, not too far behind in second place, trying to make a valley here in the early one. Owen Warriors trying to stay alive in the early one. And Zach Orson wakes up as now with next PMS, but that didn't do a lot in that time. Oh, well, there's always another time if he doesn't have enough flying spirit. And Luke Green did not have enough flying power to make the pass from Owen Warriors. As Mickey Nelson gets a penny on his next PMS, well, Zach Orson is not going to make a comeback. Owen Warriors going to celebrate tonight. Owen Warriors is our winner. As Mickey Nelson, whose last PMS was a penny, gets back to Mike's PMS, Owen Warriors won the battle against Luke Green and Zach Orson. So he gets another 5 victory, and he is now up to 2 wins. As number 8 gets number 10, and that is going to do it. So Owen Warriors finally gets his second win after swapping for many losses he had before. That's why right, Owen Warriors won this round, but we'll soon know what will happen next. Back in a bit, do not go away! So, after this race, we'll be having our halftime show for all our viewers to recap the first half on the men's division. Here's Paul to tell us all about it. Alright, Brian, to close out the first half on the men's division races for week 11, we have Jason Hill, Kai Hugelson, Jose Gano, straight down from Mexico, and newcomer Kevin Forrester. Good luck to these next four players, and please start the race! Alright, and Kai Hugelson is going to rest. That means Jason Hill, Jose Gano, and Kevin Forrester will have the opening edge. We'll soon find out which one of them will pay off or not in the early one. There goes Jason, Jose, and Kevin. They are at the Palm Tree Obstacle. And here comes the coconut fruits dropping down to the ground. They're shaking like crazy. And now they're going to eat the fruit. And Jason Hill is going to be bowing with Kevin Forrester for the lead up in the front. Followed by Jose Agano, not too far behind. As the first superstar against the best is Kai Hugo said. He gets the opening toss after forcing to go to rest the start of the race. And a couple of similar challenge numbers one and two are dancing to the beat. Yep. So these two channels are going to be left behind in the competition for a while. Here comes the number one and two trying to catch up. And they're both heading for the water. Number eight is going to sleep. And he will take speed bus number two, trying to catch up with Wonder Bridges. And I think someone took a shortcut. Is that true? Yes, indeed. It's the superstar who went to rest at the start of the race. Kai Hugelson going for his second win after suffering many losses he had during the past couple of weeks. Kai Hugelson went from last place all the way to first place thanks to that shortcut. Let's see how long this week will last as number one. Well, in the next commence, we are just exiting from the water bag in the Amethyst portion. By now, Jason Hill trying to defend second place over Jose Gano, who is battling with Kevin Forrester for third place. We have passed one minute mark, soon to be 110. And who will get the next command on the speed bus? We're about to find out right now. It's going to be our newcomer, Kevin Forrester, who will have the next command on the and take a look at poor number 8. He got his PS earlier, but he's still in last place. All the way in the back of the pack. Number 8 is trying his best to catch up with the crowd in a hurry. I think he should get some more speed so that he can really be back in the game for sure. But it's the Mexican, Jose Gano, who gets the next PS and down goes Ken Forrester from the count. Kai Hugelson, surely enjoying a dominating lead, trying desperately to get his second win of the season, he is going to get the job done easily. Next PS belongs to number one, that makes his second speed bus to the base, Jason Hill is going to mess. I don't think Ken Forrester or Jose Gano will have enough distance to catch up to Kai Hugelson in time. Nope, they're going to have to settle for next week. As Jose Gano takes number 10, you can tell he went up for Kai Hugelson. After being forced to go to sleep in the start of the race, Kai Hugelson prevailed his shortcut strategy to get his second win of his 2020 debut season. What a deal! And who got the next PMS? It's number two, and you can guess what happens next. He is so he's going to say goodbye to number eight, sleeping all the way in the back of the pack. And that will do it for this race. 
So, with that shortcut strategy, Kai Higgleson can call himself a winner again. That's right. We'll be right back for another side race at the Wii Percent Award from this. Alright, Paul, let's have another race up, shall we? Okay, Brandon. The next race will feature Ricardo Kamen, Noah Helms, TJ Edwards, and Raymond Hill. Yes, Ricardo's doing pretty well, alright. Trying to get his running ability and not power to reach the playoffs this season. But let's see who really has the talent to win this one. Everyone is on the clock. And please start the buzz! More, five more! Start the race, you all! There goes Ricardo Cayman! Already at the palm trees! He's gonna eat the fruit, and he's gonna be dead six to the B. That will give Raymond Hill some time to catch up in a little bit. But in just a moment or two, Ricardo Cayman is gonna say, Adios to Raymond Hill and no one else. And it looks like Raymond Hill is going to be heading for the water. And there goes Ricardo Cayman making its way through the bridges. And no one else will start his PS for this face. Now he is heading for the water, so he'll gain a little bit of ground with his flying ability. And guess who's way behind in the competition already? It's number two. Always trips, so he has to stay away at the bridges. As no one else quickly making out on the water, opens this one up with back to back speed bus, and there goes Ricardo Cayman, making his way for past the flags, and he will enter in the sapphire portion of this will be ever course. And who will get the next command on the speed bus? As Raymond Hill tries that's way to catch up to him. It's number eight, who that's way needs to catch up every now and then. I think he needs some more help. Well, Raymond Hill is currently stranded in second place. He needs a lot of catching up to do. Ricardo came in and showing unstoppable in his running game ability. Rick, Rick, Raymond Hill trying his best to stay alive in the game as we head back into number eight. That makes two in a row by two in a row, and hopefully he doesn't fall over at the hill and into the water. For number eight and no one else respectively. All speed bars are consecutive so far as Ricardo came in Climbs up the storm wall with all his spirit for his Mexican fans back home. Next BS belongs to number seven. He also really needs help. Right now, though, it is number eight who's stranded in last place all the way in the back of the pack. I do believe he's going to need some more speed bumps every now and then, but it's number one who leaves over the force to a child back who will get the next command on his speed bus. Ricardo came in at the whole stretch. No one, TJ and Raymond are trying their best to make one last ever stay alive. And here comes Raymond Hill with the next Beamers, but I think he's going to have to retain four plays behind. No one helps. Ricardo Cayman has this race all wrapped up. Ricardo Cayman is a winner! Alright to all the fans back in Mexico! That's number two. We're on the next command for us, and that is going to do it. TJ Edwards came in second, and Norman Helms came in third. So, that's we went up for Ricardo Cayman. That's right. He's now up to five winners, and we'll have more assignment coming up. Do not go anywhere, Paisanos. We'll be right back. And now, how about it, Paul? I say we simple it up, race number eight. I totally agree with you, my friend Brandon. Race number eight will feature Chris Schneider, Greg Bakersfield, Samuel Davisburg, and Kenny Days. Who is going to have the lucky dip on race number eight? The answer just lies ahead. Let's rock this place! Alright, so there goes Greg Bakersfield leading the way for these next group of chow. He was extremely disappointed when he lost his last race during our fall PV show. A tough loss indeed for Great Bakersfield and his heartbreaking fans. But maybe he'll have better luck in this week's race. We'll soon know if they will make it happen this time around. Right now he is going to be off and running. The other three child going to join him momentarily. Kenny Days is battling with Samuel Days back for second place at the current moment. 
and it looks like Kenny Davis is going to be heading for the water. Number one is going to sleep, and Krishnana will win the opening toss. Krishnana, as you all know, represents one half of the famous classic go getters, a very popular tag team fans always like to see at home or in the audience. Number two is going to be flying towards the water as the superstar to get Divas. Number two is Samuel Davisberg, who is catching up to Krishnana for third place. And Kenny Nays is right on Gray Bakersfield's tail. Gray Bakersfield better watch out. Kenny Nays might be catching up to his tail in a hurry. And who will get the next command on the speed bus? As we get ready to close in on the one minute mark, it's going to be number seven. He really is a speed bus and he got it. By right now, he is leaving number eight in the dust. Oh, poor number eight is getting left behind from the yellow suit chow. He might need some help for the crowd right away, but who really got the next command? It's number one, and now he has a little bit of wee room ahead on the four suit chow in the back. Meanwhile, up in the front, Gray Bakersfield is climbing up the wall. Kane still has a chance to make the pass from Gray Bakersfield. Samuel Davis and Krishna are also joining in on the front, but will any of them stop Gray Bakersfield's incredible speed? We'll soon know in the only one. Next BS belongs to number eight. He finally got how trying this week to catch up. And Gray Bakersfield wakes up from his best. He is going to leave his opponents in hurry who are also going to sleep. Kenny Nays better hurry up if he wants to stop Gray Bakersfield from getting a win. And who will get the next one? It's Samuel Davisberg. That makes his second speed bus of the race. And here comes Kenny Nays. With all his flying ability, he has chilling on for his friend Dom Tommy Days at home. He makes a pass with Gray Bakersfield. Oh, Gray Bakersfield is not going to get his redemption this week. As Krishna takes another turn, Kenny Nays gets the win. He gets the job done over speedy Gray Bakersfield. Don't worry, eventually Great Bakersfield will win a race as Chris Schneider is about to close this one out with bad to back BS. That time he went for a consecutive, but at least Tommy Day's back home is happy with his song. Yep, I'm sure his brother Tommy was watching for him from the webcam, and he made Tommy happy. Coming up, we got more song action for you, but first have a look at this. So, we have returned from our commercial break. And hopefully everyone is surely having fun staying safe at home while cheering on for the famous superstars, whether on their television sets or from a webcam on their computers. Let's keep up with that spirit tradition with Race Number 9, Paul. Okay, Race Number 9, a weekly women's men's division races, will feature Jerry Lang, Bison Dawes, the 2018 Rise Stars Champion, Willingson, and KC Richardson. One half of our tag team champions, the Police Jerry. Please start the race! I always like that. A tradition that never gets too old. Anyway, a couple of Super Chow are going to mess. So our four superstars are have, going to have a good advantage to start off the, the race. But who's going to walk away with a victory? We'll soon know. As the Forge are going to eat the food, and it looks like Willings is going to sleep. Casey stands in the bean. Bryson and Jerry are off and running. Bryson and Jerry are going to make their way towards bridges, and they're both taking the water path. We'll soon know who will gain the other hand the only one as the first superstar to get speed bus is number seven. That was a good speed bus by number seven to start the speed bus for this race. Great job trying to catch up with the crowd. He is going to lead number 8, who is going to be left behind in the competition, who is taking the bridges. And it looks like number 1 was BS number 2, as number 2 pauses for a point. Bryson and Jerry are battling for the lead as they approach the flags. And here comes Will and KC, not too far behind, joining these two superstars in a hurry. As the next BS we made by... Number 8, and we are past the 1 minute mark in this race. Right now, number 1 is Curry in the lead, over the 4 to a child in the back. Number 1, doing his best to defend the lead over the 4 to a child, 
while catching up to our four human superstars. It's a good strategy so far by number one. And number eight gets back to back spears. Great spears right there, but I think he needs a lot more help than that because he's still in last place. And take a look at this. Jerry Bryson and Will are bowing for re heading a storm wall, and Bryson doors the 2018 Rhinestars Champion takes the next beavers. He now has command on the lean as he climbs up the wall. And number two will get the next one, leaving number eight in the dust in the back. Bryson doors now has the lead. Will Linkson trying to find the open hole as they make their way towards the home stretch. As the next BS belongs to KC Richardson. Bison Norris trying to wrap things up. After having a speed bus advantage at the storm wall, he is going to get the job done easily. Number one got the next BMS, so the winner of this race is the 2018 Rice Stars Champion Bison Norris over Will Inkson and Jerry Line. That speed marks puts him in his third win of his 2020 debut season. Wow, his Vice Stars fans are going to have a story to remember when they watch the replay. Back for more exciting action after these announcements. Three more races we have to get through for the Masturbation portion of the Week 11 show. And I can tell you right now, Brandon, the next race is going to feature Jeff Norris, Eric Crosby, the shout out all from Canada, Thomas Linklater, and the Gold Star Master Gary Dayton. So we have just seen him line up, and now let's send him down to the field once again to continue Week 11 season return. Let's have a challenge! And Gary Dayton is for the rest. So let's watch Jeff, Eric, and Thomas. These three chat will have control of the opening edge. And right now these three chat are going to make their way towards the palm tree obstacle at the end of the rainbow path. That's what we always start with with each and every race on the end of course. And now the three chat are going to eat the fruit. And there goes Thomas Link Glider and Jeff Nellis. They are neck to neck, battling for the lead. Now making their way to the amethyst portion on the end of course. And it looks like Thomas Wayne Glider is one of us. And there goes Jeff Nellis. He's going to be flying towards Wana. And he'll be joined by Eric Crosby and Thomas Wayne Glider. As Eric Crosby, the Shadow Outlaw, quickly makes it to the other side of the water with the first PBS of the base. And here comes Garrett Dayton trying to make a valley after forcing to go to sleep at the start of the race. He is swimming along with a couple of silver chow in the back. And Thomas Linklater will have control of speed bus number two. Trying to catch up with our leader, Eric Crosby, who is bowing with Jeff Nellis. They are making their way towards the south final portion of the air course now. And we are approaching one minute mark soon. As the next PS we made by number two. Try to make sure not to fall off the hill. And right now, Garrett Dayton is trying to battle with number two for fifth place. Garrett Dayton has a long way to go, but he wants to catch up to the other competitors in a hurry. Well, he is going to get the next command speed, but I don't think he'll make it all the way to first place. Poor number seven, meanwhile, is way behind in the competition and really needs the speedmas now. If he wants to get back in the game. But let's head back to the Gun Star Master himself. Gary Dayton. That's back to back speed for Gary Dayton. Trying to make a miracle comeback. Meanwhile, the other three channel are reaching the top of Stormwall. And Jeff Nellis and Eric Crosby are going to rest. So, that means Thomas Lee Grotter will have command on the lead up in the front. Next BS belongs to number seven. He finally got his help. Garrett Dayton decided to go to sleep for the second time in his face. Thomas Linklater now having the privilege to defend the lead over Jeff Nellis and Eric Crosby at the home stretch. And here comes Garrett Dayton with a third speed bus. Thomas Linklater trying to hold on to the lead. Jeff Nellis and Eric Crosby trying to make a valley early run, but I do believe Thomas Linklater is going to hold on for the victory. 
Tell us when you go out of holes on Jack Nines and Aaron Cosby for the bench way. As number 8 gets the next B-Bus. So Tyler Swinkler is now time for the best record at 10 and 2 with Zach Orson tonight. Number 7 has no hope for surviving whatsoever. As number 8 is about to close this one out with back to back speed So it's double digit wins for Tyler Swinkler tonight. That's right. What's going to happen in the next race? We'll find out after the break. Do not go away. Paul, oh, I know what you're thinking. Soon it will be time for the main event, and the famous License to Drive is going to do his best to complete his Superstar of the Week trilogy honors. Is that correct? That is indeed correct, Brandon. Because coming up in the next segment, the famous License to Drive, Albie Sr. from Chicago, Illinois, will try his best to earn his third and final Superstar of the Week honors. But first, for race number 11, we have J.J. Nehemiah, Ben Henderson, the Cowboy Benny Mullen, and the 2018 World Champion Donald Rennings, who also won a 2019 Tag Team title, to say the least. Let's find out who's going to come up on top. Best luck to these next four players, and let's have a challenge! Okay, we are down to two races for the men's mission. These guys are up first. And like we always say, anything can happen in a Joe is in your bus. Could happen this week or it could happen next week. No matter what happens, we stick with a model of anything can happen the fans will always promise. Right now, Donald Rennings is going to lead over Benny Mullen at JJ Nehemiah. Looks like all three of them are going to be heading for the wall by the way, it looks like, yep. And who is going to get the first speed bus out of this race? It's number one, who is way behind in the competition back in the Apollo Greece. One is still a challenge going to mess. And right now, there goes Ben Henderson, making his way towards Warner, using all his flying ability to catch up with the other competitors. As the superstar to get speed bus number two is... None other than number two! <clears throat> and right now, number one, trying to catch up over at the Warner. Number 7 is in last place, and he really needs help right away, and he will do it with the next command of speed bus. And we are at the 1 minute mark, folks. 1 minute of race number 11 of week 11's best division races. And right now, guess who has the lead? It's the Cowboy, Benny Mullen, trying to defend the lead on the Sapphire portion on the end, of course. As number one takes a number turn, and you bet he will get all of it on that one. A good speed bus by number one now. Meanwhile, JJ Nehemiah and Donald Mennings are currently bowing for second place behind Benny Mullen. But right now, all eyes are on number one as he gets back to back speed bus and his third speed bus overall for this race. And poor number two and poor number seven are fighting for J life. Who's gonna get a chance to stay alive? It's number seven. That makes his second speed bumps in the race. And right now, Benny Mullen and JJ Nehemiah are going to mess. That means Tom Ranks will now have command on the lead over Benny Mullen. As JJ Nehemiah takes the next command of PS, Ben Henderson decided to pause from one. Although, always picking wait till next week. One is still a challenge going to sleep. And who got the next one? It's number one. That makes his four speed most of the race. Donald Rennings has this race all wrapped up. Benny Moy will not have enough swimming power to catch up to Donald Rennings in time. Donald Rennings is our winner. As the next speed bus will be made by number two, making his second speed bus of the race. So Donald Rennings gets a number five victory. He now jumps to the 500 mark at six wins and six losses. Good strategy so far. I don't think one time for another speed bus. This race is over. So Donald Rennings will lead us to the main event. That's my right, Paul. Donald Rennings won this race. Can Alvin see you again another five main event victory in the next segment? We'll find out after we hear a word from this. So, it is now time for week 11's main event on our season return of season 66 of Channel AC 2020. That's my right, button. 
This week, our returning champion is the Licensor Drive, Alvin Senior, who had an impressive victory during his fall preview show in our last episode. Tonight, his challengers are Adrian Legetta, the Bobby Maida Bobby K, and the great Louis Charleston. And this week's main event is presented by Wendy's. Whether going for a cheeseburger, a chicken sandwich, or even a frosty for dessert, always remember this. Quality is our recipe at a Wendy's restaurant near you. There's Luke in the lineup for week 11's main event. It's been an exciting first week back from our summer break, and now it's time to find out who will get the first superstar of the week during the fall half of season 66. Please start the race! Alright, so two times in a row was a sweet shot for Alvin Senior in the current run. Will he make it three weeks in a row? We'll find out soon enough. Right out of four, child, I'm gonna shake the palm trees to bring down that coconut shaped fruit. And now they're gonna eat the fruit. And Bobby K is dancing to the beat. And there goes A Wing Jetta. He is gonna have command on the lead for the coming one. Not too far behind is Bobby K, bowing with. Number two, and now we see him for second place. And who's going to be heading for the water? It's Alvin Senior as he takes the opening toss for Wing Lattice main event. Alvin Senior is going to be flying towards the water, trying to gain a little bit of ground. Number one is going to sweep all the way in the back. He is also heading for the water, but not much flying past Alvin Senior. And number eight, who also really needs help over at the bridges, will have speed bus number two. Alvin Senior is bowing with the Bobby Main and Bobby K. For an elite up in the front, and uh, Avery and Jenna, who is Charleston, not too far behind in third and fourth. As number seven will have the next come SPS. Wow, he got all of that. That one, I do believe that was a good speed was right now for number seven. Lewis Charleston and Avery and Jenna better hurry up if they want to catch up with Bobby K and our returning champion out here, senior. And we are past the one minute mark in this race. And Louis Johnson turns for one as he will have the next command on the speed bus. Bobby K showing and enjoying the lead for the come one, but all three of his opponents are showing catching up to him all right. As the next speed bus win made by number one, who desperately needs to catch up every now and then. He got all of it in that one, but still in last place behind the pack. Bobby K better watch out. He does not want to be spoiled by either Adrian or Jetta. Louis Johnson or our defending champion Alvin Senior. Who is going to have the upper hand? Who is going to be the new superstar of the week? We'll find out soon enough. Next beers belongs to number eight. That makes his second speed bus to the base. As he leads poor number one in us, the four is too much on climbing up the wall in the back. And the next speed bus is going to be made by our defending champion Alvin Senior. The license to drive. Bobby K has once again come in on the lead. And here comes Avery and Jenna trying to make one last effort to stay alive. As number seven takes the next beamers, it looks like Avery and Jenna will make the pass for Bobby K. And he is going to hold on for the victory this week. As number one takes the next beamers, Avery and Jenna with Week Live's main event presented by Wendy's. So here is the new superstar of the week for Week 11's action. You said it, Paul. Anyway, which I will be coming back in our next individual main event two weeks from now, about week 13. Coming up, we'll present our women's vision races for this week's week 11 action. But first, let's hear one from this.